Hey, welcome back to 65 Drums. My name's Justin. So today I wanna to cover the scammy part of the electronic drum industry. And no, I'm not talking about roll under drum tech overpricing their stuff. What I'm talking about are people creating completely fake websites, pretending to be drum stores, and totally not shipping you any of the drums that they're advertising. This has been a problem in the industry for quite a while. A bunch of these websites will pop up and then they'll be around for a few weeks and disappear. You'll kind of forget that scams were even a thing, and then a year later, all of a sudden they're back in a slightly different form. And I'm guessing that no one person is doing all these scams. It's probably a bunch of people depending on the year and depending on the scam that you're looking at. Now, I can already hear that one guy typing into the comment section, you know, Justin, this is all very entertaining, but no one's actually falling for these scams. And I used to think that too. But number one, they wouldn't be running these scams if no one was falling for them. And number two, I just got an email the other day from a subscriber to 65 Drums who fell for one of these ads and even PayPal is not refunding his money as of the last time I talked to him. So unfortunately, these scams are affecting real life people in the electronic drum community, which is why I wanted to make this video. They're sort of banking on the fact that it's 1 a.m., you're kind of tired, you're desperate for an electronic drum set, and you wanna get something really, really cheap. So the first thing to mention is that you'll probably come across these scams on Facebook. They'll buy some ad space and then list a fake website that you'll click on, and they'll try to get you to spend your real money, and they just won't send you anything in return. And the really sneaky thing is that they're not just running one website at a time, because they know that Facebook will get a complaint or two and remove the ad. But the fact is they're running like five of these websites at any given time. And you can know this just by looking at the ads throughout the day and you'll notice the exact same ad, but with a different URL every single time. They're all clones of each other. It should say like eDrumCenter.com, DrumTech.com, or it should be a recognizable name. But instead it's website URLs like www.hyyu.vip. It doesn't make any sense. And then sometimes they're being straight up obvious. In this case, it was Hayden Jewelry. And people will actually fall for this stuff, believe it or not. They're not really paying attention. All they know is that they saw an electronic drum set for 100 bucks with a free speaker included, and they want it at that price. Another thing to keep in mind is that they're trying to create a sense of urgency in you. So at times they'll say something like, we're going out of business, so we're trying to sell everything for 90% off just to get it out of the store. Another thing to keep in mind is that a lot of electronic drum ads from legitimate companies, they tend not to show the price in the advertisement. They're not showing the drum set costs $2,000 or $500 or anything like that. They want you to click on the ad so you go to the website and then you can see the price there because the price is never that amazing because they all have to charge the same price. We'll talk about why at the end of the video. But with a scam website, their main selling point is that it's selling for $99. Here's a really good example of this. We got an Alesis Nitro Mesh that should be selling for $350, selling for $89 right there in the image. And the problem is this could work for some people because if they don't know the general pricing of an electronic drum set, this kind of sort of looks like a hundred dollar drum set. And so someone would believe that. Another sign that what you're looking at isn't a real advertisement is if the advertisement has a photo of someone's real life drum set. You can tell what's an advertisement photo, like this one from Alesis, versus someone's real life drum set. They'll type in the name of some popular drum set. They'll use Google Trends to see what drum sets are the most popular so they can use it for their scam. Then they'll go to Google Images and just take, you know, random photos of someone's cool looking drum set. In one case, someone who watches 65 drums got his photo stolen and used inside of one of these scammy ads. I was actually working with him to potentially make a video about his drum set because it was massive. It looked really cool and had the logos of, you know, different uh, acoustic cymbal companies on top and he painted the cymbals. It was really nice. It looked so nice though, that someone that was writing a scam decided to use that photo for the advertisement. Another sign that what you're looking at is fake is if there's only one to five drum sets on the entire website. This happens again and again, like in the case of this Elise Nitro Mesh scam, the whole website was built from the ground up to sell that one fake drum set. Or in the case of this one, HYYU, uh, they only have like maybe five to 10 drum sets on the website. And if this was a real electronic drum store, like it's pretending to be, if it was eDrumCenter.com or if it was DrumTech.com, they would be selling drumsticks. They would be selling headphones. There will be hundreds of different items to choose from, not just like a dozen, because that's how a real business operates. I've also seen that some of these scam websites are just sloppy with their about pages. They'll have a whole history of how they work with the military and they sell jewelry or whatever their backstory is. You can tell they're copying, pasting a bunch of text from some other real life website 
and they've just modified it to sell electronic drums. Our website is trusted by McAfee, it's trusted by PayPal, trusted by this company and that company. Those are all just JPEG images they found on Google Images. They're not actually going to deliver on their promises. If you're having a strange gut feeling about this website, go on Reddit or go on the 65 Drums Facebook group or you know, there's a ton of different electronic drum communities out there. Ask some real life people if they've ever heard of this random website that you're thinking about buying from. Again, this goes against the urgency this scam is trying to create, and it you know, saves you even just if you think about it for five extra minutes. They want you to buy right away without thinking about it. All right, so all that out of the way, let's get to the real reason why you will never find a 50% off electronic drum set from a name brand like Roland Elisa's Yamaha or any of the other really big companies. The reason is map pricing. That stands for minimum advertised price. Now here's how map pricing works if you live in the USA. And of course, laws and policies are different depending on what country that you live in. If I have a drum store called justinselectronicdrums.com and I wanted to sell a Roland TD-07 DMK, if I start advertising it at 300 bucks, I'll have broken my agreement with Roland. And Roland isn't the only company that does this. Alesis does this, Yamaha does this. All the big companies have these agreements. And the reason why they have these agreements is that they want their drums to be perceived at a certain value, so that's the first reason. And the second reason is they want all the music stores that sell their drums to have a level playing field. If I was Sweetwater, I could buy 20,000 uh, Roland TD-07 DMKs and then sell them at really low profit margins. Meanwhile, if I'm justinselectronicdrums.com, I'm not as rich as Sweetwater. I'll have to make an acceptable amount of money for each drum set that I sell. So this is sort of set in place that all the music stores, regardless of their size, have a level playing field. Now, I'm not saying I agree with the whole MAP pricing model. I'm just saying that's the way the industry works at this time, to my understanding. And when you do see these electronic drum sets go on sale, you'll notice that every website across the entire industry are putting their drum sets on sale at the exact same discount level. Because again, it's a relationship, it's an agreement between the manufacturers and the retailers. So as you can tell, what these scams are promising is literally impossible because the industry is made from the ground up to make everybody charge the same amount of money, or at least advertise the same amount of money. You can still haggle over the phone and stuff to try to get the price down, but everyone has to show on their website that they're charging the same amount. Let alone the fact that even just the shipping to the United States is getting so expensive that there's no possible way they could make an Alesis DM10 plus an amp and ship it over here for under 100 bucks. All right, so that is the video. Hopefully this was informative or helpful. If you have any other tips for avoiding scams, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you especially to the people that support 65 Drums on Patreon.com. Have an amazing day. See you all in a few.